everyone how are you doing today i'm back with another video and in today's video we have an asus laptop this one is an asus q 551 l model and in this video i'm gonna go over how you can speed up your laptop dramatically and it's not by adding more ram the ram is works for a big programs big files that you want to load or games or something like that i made a video how to increase your ram but if the bottleneck on these models or on this laptop is the mechanical hard drive that they include with you they include it in so because they have a way less uh, read and write speed limit so by removing the mechanical hard drive and putting a solid state drive you're going to increase the performance humongously and it's very important what kind of ssd drive you put depending the durability they all have the same almost speed but the only difference is the durability and reliability of the ssds one of the cheapest brands are gigabyte adata or kingston but if you want to go really really high and reliability or durability go with a samsung evo or samsung evo plus pro i mean those are really in good ssds and they will last you many years but the client brought me a gigabyte so i'm gonna put whatever they gave me and also people keep telling me if i upgrade the ssd am i gonna get uh my windows in it no you don't because your windows is in a your old hard drive your files is in the old hard drive so what you want to do you have two options back up your files in a, on an external hard drive or pretty much uh, if you don't want to just form leave it there and uh, because as soon as you put the new hard drive mechanical or ssd drive in the laptop you're not going to have any operating system anything in here option number uh, one would be to grab yourself a adapter which is called a sata to a usb adapter i'll leave the link in my video description so what you can do is to connect your ssd drive to this adapter plug it to your computer power on and download a program called a mercurium reflect which is a cloning program with that program you can clone your main hard drive to a solid state drive assuming that your solid state drive has to be the same capacity as your mechanical drive if it's one terabyte buy a one terabyte ssd or if it's a 500 gig get a 500 gig has to be the same capacity or higher ssds so you can clone your main hard drive to ssd and then just follow the video and replace it and turn it on and it will work just fine but i would recommend you guys to do a fresh install of the windows on an ssd because the installation format the algorithm and the firmware are a little bit different on an ssd than the mechanical drive if you do cloning you will get guaranteed that you will get random shutdowns random blue screen of that and randomly you might get once in a week or something like that because of the cloning is never perfect that's why i always recommend you to do a, a fresh install of the windows i made a video how to create a windows usb boot drive it's free and i made another video how to properly install windows 10 it takes up to maybe 10 minutes or 15 minutes to install it it's really simple it's not no brain requires it's just like installing any other program i'll leave those links in my video description so in this video i'm just going to open it up and show you how to switch them apart so first thing first you want to power off the laptop i'm going to go over the tool that i'll be using for the screwdriver set i'll be using an ifixit screwdriver set and we're going to be using a p number five which is a torx number five from this set if you get the pro set they will include you opening tools and a few other stuff if not grab yourself a guitar pick and metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers all right so down here on the bottom of the laptop you're going to see a whole bunch of screws all around the in bottom casing so we're going to start from one corner and we're going to remove all the screws and keep them in one pile because they are the same size and height so don't worry about mismatching them also if you guys like my videos if you find my videos helpful you want to support the channel you can do that by clicking that like and subscribe i'll greatly appreciate it it will be a great tremendous support for me to make more videos take requests answer your questions in the comment area i always try to answer all the questions that you guys leave i appreciate that all right now that we remove all the screws well, you can do one thing put your finger at the back cover here and pull it up a little bit a little bit and the front side what you want to do you want to stick the opening tool between the top and the bottom cover just flip it it's not focusing stick it right there and just twist twist you want to hear a few clicks that's what you want to hear so now that we got the front end loose 
you want to lift it up slowly grab this side and bring it up evenly upward okay so there's tiny clips in here you have to pull it hard to release these clips right in here all right after that once you remove you're going to see the big battery and the whole internals and the hard drive is right away here you can see the shape right there so i don't know if this is a mechanical or solid state drive so we're going to remove there's a metal bracket which is called a caddy that holds the hard drive in place so it doesn't move around you're going to remove this caddy you're going to use a fillet number one or number zero you're going to remove four screws one two three four so remove the four screws also people keep saying why don't you disconnect the battery you don't absolutely not need to remove the battery to do this process it's not necessary and there is no risk in here so remove the four screws grab this flip thing at the back and slide it this way and once it's disconnected just lift it up bring it upward and they have upgraded to a really cheap brand ssd so this might have been a mechanical drive something like this in here so they all have the same connectors in there. So what you want to do in this case uh, to remove the caddy from the SSD or the hard drive that you have in here by removing two screws in here and two screws on the other side. So you remove these screws. Just make sure the orientation of the SATA connectors. You see the SATA connectors right here. The power connector is on the other side. You want to put it in the same direction. So you don't want to put this one in there the other way around otherwise the caddy will be flipped and it's not going to go through so remove the four screws on the caddy on the side of the okay once you remove that you want to lift up this hard drive make sure and bring it up switch the places put the other one in there and put the screws for it okay i haven't done any backup so this is for demonstration so this is how you do it i'm going to put this to a side for it now Imagine this is the new one, you put it in and put the four screws on the side of the hard drive. And at the end of the video, I'm going to boot up to my USB windows to show you how you can boot it up to get to the installation. All right, now that we got the hard drive in there, so what you want to do, you want to put it in an offset position like that, the gap opening right there, and you simply Make sure this metal plate has to go over the uh, PCB, so leave it on top and then simply slide it smoothly has to go through the connectors. This metal jacks has to be on top. And one thing down here, the last thing would be to put the four screws for the caddy to hold it in place. Alright, now that we have the hard drive in place, so what you want to do, you want to grab the bottom case, bring it evenly on top, put it down. Squeeze the middle so those clips go in. Squeeze the back, the side, the front. Switch to a torque number five and put the bottom screws. I'm just gonna put the two back ends so make the video short. I'm just gonna put these two at the back. And we're gonna install the windows. I'll show you just uh, how you can get to install it. So I gotta plug in the charger. Grab your Windows 10 USB boot drive, which I already made. So we're gonna plug it in there. When you power on, in, you wanna press, I think for ASUS it's F2 or F12. So I'm just gonna tap on F2, F12 like this. If it doesn't go, just shut it down. And power on again. And keep tapping on f2 f1 you see i keep tapping on f2 f1 so one of the keys are for the bias so now i'm inside the bias so i'm gonna go down to the boot menu and i see the custom boot menu is set to uh, for ufei it says boot priority it's uh, windows and then my kingston usb drive I can go to the save and exit and down here it says boot override it says which one you want to boot from so I'm going to choose the uh, UFE, UEFI Kingston which is my USB I'm going to press enter so it's going to restart and it's going to go through my USB boot drive and it's going to take up to 5 maybe 30 seconds and it's going to start 
loading my USB and it's going to give me the installation process in here. So I'm just going to wait a few seconds until you guys see. There we go. So down here, I don't know how much it's going to reflect here. So it says language, install language, everything next, next. I'll leave the li video li link for the proper way of installing the window so you can follow the steps for the proper installation. And that should be all for this video. If you guys have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video.